Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name's CJ and recently I made a video of how I operate my wood coal burning stove and how I burn it using wood and that video went over pretty well but a lot of you have asked how do I burn coal and you wanted to see a video of that so that's what's going to be in this video today. So starting off a lot of you know that I've had trouble finding coal because I want to burn anthracite coal which makes no creosote at all and I finally figured out that my hometown actually sells it at the co-op and I ended up buying 40 pound Lehigh anthracite coal bags for about $6.79 a bag and after talking to some of you that seems like that's a pretty average price and it's cheaper than the tractor supply coal that I bought last year so I let the fire go out last night and I'm restarting it right now as we speak uh, getting ready for a snowstorm to come tonight and some cold temperatures and I'm going to show you how I get the fire going and how I run it. may not be the best way, but I'm just going to show you how I do it and how to get a longer burn time out of your coal. Now before you even get a fire started, you'll want to clean out as much ash out of the stove as you can. That's good for burning wood, but not for burning coal because you need that air to come up through. And also if you have a DS stove like mine, you want to go on the back and pull out the handle so you can burn coal. That makes the airflow go down underneath the grating. Make sure that your ash pan is cleaned out. That way when you go to shake off the ashes that you can have room to put that ash down in the ashtray and let air come up through the coal. Now for me, I like to get a nice hot fire going with wood and then as soon as it's at its peak, that's when I want to start adding coal. When you have those glowing red and orange embers down there in the bottom of the stove that's when you start adding coal now a common mistake I was guilty of it when I first started I would put too much on and I suffocated my fire and the coals didn't take off so I whenever I get my fire started it takes a while and I like to keep track of it so I make sure I have plenty of time to go down and check it every so often and how I do it is I just go down and add a few scoops every you know half hour or so and I'm going to show you tonight whenever we get the snow and the cold weather uh, I'm going to go ahead and fill up the stove we're going to make sure we got good airflow and I'm going to show you how it burns for the whole night and where the temperature is at in the morning in the house Okay, so hopefully you can hear me here. The stove's running pretty good. We got it pretty warm. Got it about 300 on this gauge. If that's right or not, I don't know. But uh, you can see the, the blue purplish flames coming off. So that's a good sign. You got a good hot fire going. Uh, I didn't add too much. That's what you don't, you don't want to suffocate it. So I'll come down here in probably a half hour or so and then add some more. We should be up close to where I want to be and then that should last for most of the night but I'm gonna come I gotta go to work this afternoon when I come home I'm gonna check it and then uh, we'll see what the temperature in the house is we'll see what this fire looks like if we need to make any adjustments maybe shake some ash down in the ash pan or uh, add some more coal and then uh, tomorrow morning I'll show you what this fire looks like and I'll show you what the temperature is in the house Alright, so I just got home from work. Uh, I left the house at noon today and it is a quarter to 11 right now. This furnace is still running. The house is 68 degrees, it's set for 70. And uh, we still got a good fire going in here. But the coals have dropped down uh, almost a full fire brick. I still got the uh, airflow coming through, so I'm just going to fill this up so it's up to the top of the fire brick again. And that should run all night. So we'll uh, go ahead and show you what we wake up to in the morning. good morning everybody uh, we got our snow last night and we also got our cold temperatures it got down to 16 last night 
with the wind chill being down in the single digits and we woke up to a warm house at 70 degrees this morning so I'm going down here to check the fire right now so last night at 11 11 30 I got the fire filled the firebox filled up with coal and I haven't touched it since the furnace is still running it's never kicked off and here we still have a good bed of coals here this will be easy to get going again in fact that'll probably run for a couple more hours but we're gonna go ahead and put some more coal on it so yeah I am I'm very pleased with that so some of you were looking for uh, 24 hour run times I'm not gonna get that right now in this house because I, I just don't have it insulated enough yet but if you if you do what I'm doing here if you try that I think a lot of you with your houses would be able to reach close to 24 hours I'm just not at that point where the house is sealed up enough yet so a common mistake with burning coal is you don't put enough coal in your firebox I used to do the same thing but remember don't do it all at one time just keep adding some that way you don't uh, put the fire out but if uh, you keep your ashtray cleaned out that way you have a place to shake the ashes down in, get some airflow through. If you fill up your firebox, I think you guys can get some good run times. I, I hope this video helps you out in some way. Uh, like I said, I'm, I'm still learning as I go, but we've gotten a whole lot better. I, I'm interested to see if I tried that tractor supply coal again, if I could get it to burn like I got this Lehigh coal to burn. I don't know. I, I bought, oh, by the way, I bought 920 pounds of it. And it was uh, six seventy nine a bag, so I, I bought it for like one hundred eighty eight dollars. That should get us through January and most of February. But I mean, sixteen degrees out uh, with the wind, and we woke up to a seventy degree house. I'm very happy. <laughs> so I hope this video helped you out in some way. Uh, if you know anybody that might want to see this or if they're having trouble, be sure to share this video. Hit that like button if you would. That helps share it on YouTube. Uh, be sure to stay tuned for a bathroom video coming up. We're going to be working on it this weekend. And until next time, thanks for watching.